Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillah ve salatu ve selamu ala Resulillah ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ecma'in. Allahümme enfa'ni bimme allemteni ve allimni bimme yanfa'ni ve zidni ilmen innekel alimul hakim. Allahümme khrijna min zulumatil vahm ve akrimna bi nuril fahm ve fte aleyna bi ma'rifetil ilm ve sehhil ahlakına bil hilm. Amin ya Rabbil Alemin. Allahümme zugni ni'metel ikhlası li vajhikel kerim. Bi kulli ma akul ve bi kulli ma af'al. Amin ya Rabbil Alemin. My topic today is about sarcoidosis on the chest x-ray. I will represent the typical finding of sarcoidosis stage 1, stage 2, stage 3 and stage 4 with differential diagnosis on the blame film in this short talk. Sarcoidosis is a systemic granulomatous disease of unknown origin, although it may involve any organ. Thoracic manifestation is the most common responsible for the most mortality and mor morbidity, and it is high pulmonary involvement. Most patients are asymptomatic and present with non-specific symptoms. The radiology and the radiologist play a vital role in establishing early diagnosis and further management. We can classify sarcoidosis on the chest X-ray into four, four stages. Stage one, it is described as isolated bilateral high love lymphadenopathy, as we see here in this VHS view. This is the left hilar adenopathy, right hilar adenopathy, and the right paratracheal sign. And this sign, a right paratracheal lymph node. And this sign, we call it one, two, three sign or garland sign, and this is the stage one. Stage one, it is, as we said, bilateral hilar adenopathy with right baratracheal lymph node. And in setting of typical clinical representation, availability of diagnosis established in such way depend on the radiological stage. In the highest, it is stage 1 in about 98, 98%. And then stage 2, about 80%, 89%. And then stage 3, in about 50%. Here, this is the frequency of lymph node involvement of the sarcoidosis, the right hilar adenopathy and left hilar adenopathy almost always represented in a frequency, high frequency, and ranging about 95%. And on the autopulmonary lymph node, it is in about uh, 50%, and the right paratracheal lymph node in about 75%, and in the subcranial node in about 20%. And here, the, the, uh, this is the differential diagnosis of the stage 1 with lymphadenopathy can be infectious, like TB, infectious mononucleosis, can be malignant, like lymphoma, and can be uh, industrial uh, disease due to silicosis, telcosis, and others like amyloidosis. Here, this is a patient with stage 2 sarcoidosis, as we see here. In stage 2, there is lymphadenopathy with parenchymal involvement. And in this patient, we have bilateral adenopathy and parenchymal involvement, mainly involving the upper lobes. And predominantly, it is multiple small lymph nodes, uh, sorry, multiple small nodular 
shadows involving in the upper lobes more or less symmetrical and this is stage two and the differential diagnosis on the stage two is also include infectious like TB, mycoplasmosis, histoplasmosis, and fungal disease, malignancy, lymphoma, and cancer of differential and industrial disease also included. And other, we should exclude also the other in patients like hypersensitivity, pneumonitis, drug reaction, amyloidosis, and other granulomatous disease. Here, this is the stage three. And in stage three, there is there is only parenchymal involvement. There is no high love adenopathy in stage three. And there, as we see here, there is diffuse, small, multiple nodular shadows, predominantly located in the upper lobes. And here, this is the differential diagnosis of the parenchymal involvement on the, of the stage three, like infection, TB, mycoplasmosis, histoplasmosis, and other fungal disease, lymphoma, industrial disease, hypersensitivity, pneumonitis, and amyloidosis, and other, and others. Here, the stage four, and this is the fibrotic stage. And as we see here, it is involving the, mainly the upper lobes. There is fibrosis and volume loss and some cystic changes. And this is cystic changes with fibrotic changes and loss of volume. And in this stage, we have the differential diagnosis like TB, mycoplasmosis, histoplasmosis, and just other fungal disease and uh, industrial disease, inorganic industrial disease like silicosis, telcosis, periliosis, and other diseases like hypersensitivity, pneumonitis, especially the chronic type, and Ibuprofenchymal fibroelastosis and unusual interstitial pneumonia and ankylosing spondylitis. Here we see the the summary of the differential diagnosis of the four stages described before. I will. Let let you see it in a few moments. Thank you for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk.